welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as a secure keyword search and data sharing mechanism for cloud computing as the title depicts this project is mainly about securing the keyword search and also the data sharing mechanism which is stored in the cloud the mainly the main objective of the paper is to implement attribute based proxy re-encryption scheme you can see the system architecture here which has the entities delegator delegatee the cloud server the health record owner and also the pkg We have implemented this project in Java using NetBeans 8.2 and for the database we have used MySQL and for uploading the data in the cloud we will be using DriveHQ. We are not going to completely host the project in the cloud. We are going to store the data that we are going to upload that will be stored in this DriveHQ cloud. So let us see the execution of the project now. So this is the home screen of the project which has the project title secure keyword search and data sharing mechanism for cloud computing and also the abstract of the project which is mentioned in the base paper and in the left side panel you can see the entities that is depicted in the base paper that is health record owner the delegator the delegatee the cloud server the pkg So right now we will consider a scenario first we will register with the health record owner so for the health record owner I'll register with this email ID for delegator. I'll register with this email ID for delegate. I'll register with this email ID. So in this scenario you can consider any of your email IDs and you can register accordingly. So for the as I am a new user I will register with this name. So I registered with the name, email id, date of birth, gender, phone number, city, country, password, these details and click sign up and you can see the sign up has been successful and right now I can able to log in here. So first I will complete the registration parts of all the entities so I will go for the delegator now and I will register here again. I will register with this email id. So I'll make it as name JP and email ID as jp at gmail.com bed of birth.
and click sign up again you can see this delegator is being registered successful here and I'll go for the delegate registration now click register and here you can see I'll register with this email ID And click sign up so now the delicate is also registered successfully and you can, you can success message here so right now we have registered the delicate delicate health record owner everything so now we will check this pkg just log into pkg so here you can see the who's the delicators so right now I registered only one delegator so it is showing so whenever you are registered with, the, with your names and details it will be showing here and here in view delegate you can see that I have registered one delegate so it is showing those things so and now click log out now come to the cloud server part so currently we have not uploaded anything so there will not be any file the file is empty the uh, files in cloud is empty now we'll go to the health record owner so re health record owner i'll log in right now with the health record owner now in the this is the welcome screen of the health record owner so you can see the left side panel here with the options of file upload what all the file that you uploaded re-encrypt request re-encrypt data so everything is empty because we have not done anything so first we will upload the file so file first i will create a file with this file name say i'll create a file in this d drive to show you so secure keyword search so this is the file name that i have created demo by jp infotech so i'll save this file name now i will upload this file here so i will enter the file keyword as secure keyword search and select the file which you wanted to upload i have created that the d drive so i have selected that and click upload so once you click upload the file is been uploading so here you can see the successful message the file is uploaded successfully so let us check that so let now click the record menu so you can see the uh, details of the file that we have uploaded with the record owner name file id file name uploaded time and decryption key of it so as i intimated the files will be stored in the cloud we will check that part also so just log into the drive hq cloud so right now you can see secure keyword search txt this is the file that I uploaded you can check the time date and time 217 you can see the date and time and just click it you can see the contents are being encrypted to secure the contents or the the data should be not be leaked to the event the cloud server or some other intruder so the data will be encrypted and stored here so right now i have shown you the the file uploaded to the cloud server part now let us go to the re-encryption concept so log out and log into delicator and click login so this is the welcome screen of the delegator here you can see the search record so all this process works as per the architecture which is mentioned in the base paper you can see the things that is done 
that is the delegator registration part they returns the private key to the delegator then delegator gives a search request and the search results is been done then you can see the ciphertext request and return of re-encrypted original things so you can see everything these flows been depicted in the system architecture the same thing that we have developed here so here you can see the search files here here you, you, you can search the file name. so i'll type secure keyword search and click search and here you can see now the file in case if you are uh, typing something else which is not available you cannot see the result because that file is not available so as we have already uploaded this file in the cloud so it will search for it and give the result of it so it will show the record owner record owner name the file id the file name uploaded time send re-encryption request and click send request so here you can see the request has been sent successfully and log out now you can go to the health record owner login and click login here in the re-encrypt request you can just click that here earlier i have shown you that it was empty now the request has been sent so it is being displayed here so to make it approve or to make it execute click this execute part so once if you click this execute part you can see the re-encryption has been made successfully and go to re-encrypt data to view the re-encrypt data here you can click this view part and you can see this so this is the the file name and the data that is available in this file is being encrypted in this format and once if they need the re-encryption data you can see the again the re-encryption has been done here so you can see the file name the encryption data and the re-encryption data here okay now we'll log out and go to the delicate part so in the delicate part this is the welcome screen of the delicate part here you can see the view and re-encrypted records and view ciphertext so just click the view and re-encrypted records and click view so once if you click this you can see the re-encrypted data so the delegate can see the re-encrypted data once if the user has been the health record has been accepted then you can here the delegate can view the data here you can see the the ciphertext key of it just copy this key now you can click this the encrypted file so once if the you the health record owner does not approve this this user that is the relicate cannot view this so here you can see the decrypt data that is the file name the re-encrypted data and enter the decryption key in case if you have not entered any key or give some random key you can see it is failed here so the data will be secured and it, no, it will not be showing it so only if you are having the exact key of it you can able to re-decrypt the, re the data and click decrypt and download so once if you click that you can see it will be asking to save the file and you can save the file and here it is saved just open it and you can see the data that is being created by us Oh, now log out and you can go to the cloud server part here you can see the files in the cloud server what is the files available and you can and the last part is like performance analysis here you can see the performance analysis with the static graph mentioning the time and the implementation concept of the existing and proposed you can see the time made by proposed system is very low when compared to the existing system of it so in this way this project secured keyword search and data sharing mechanism for cloud computing is implemented mm, thank you for watching